Welcome to this episode of On Finding Peace, brought to you by Life's Journey Life Coaching. Our host, Chris Shea, is a counselor, nationally recognized speaker, and author on topics of guiding us to finding peace in our daily lives. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com. And welcome, everyone, to another episode of On Finding Peace. I'm your host, Chris Shea, and this weekly podcast focuses on discussing practical tips and techniques that all of us can use in life to find our inner peace and happiness. If you have suggestions for topics, let me know, either through my social media, this site, or email me. All of my contact information is found at my website, lifesjourneyblog.com. This episode is titled, Sometimes You Have to Unfollow People in Real Life. Unfortunately, many of us know, live with, or work with who we would call toxic people. People who seem to suck the life out of us through their attitudes and lack of boundaries. But what's different from real life and how we interact with others that makes it different from social media? Social media allows for a sense of anonymity, or at least a physical distance from the person with whom you're communicating. This allows people to feel safer and more open to engage in interactions which eventually alienate or offend others. You know, that person who posed any toxic thing that comes to mind. When people like that irk us, we simply unfollow them. But how do you unfollow a toxic person whom you're interacting with in everyday real life? There are people in all of our lives, whether it's at work, schools, social circles, family members, whom we probably do better unfollowing for our own mental well-being. In a Forbes article, author Travis Bradbury explains, quote, Recent research from Friedrich Schriller University in Germany shows just how serious toxic people are. They found that exposure to stimuli that cause strong negative emotions, the same kind of exposure you get when dealing with toxic people, caused per people's brains to have a massive stress response. Unquote. In other words, a toxic person is a person in our life who seems to suck the energy out of us. Toxic people create and live in constant drama. They're needy, don't respect boundaries, are critical of others, manipulative and judgmental. It's important to note that I'm not saying that the person themselves is toxic, but that their behaviors are toxic. And this is an important distinction so that we don't end up labeling a person. In my clinical practice, I find that toxic people tend to suffer from at least one personality disorder. What is a personality disorder? Well, it's defined as a terms of patterns of thoughts and behaviors that are unhealthy and inflexible. These behaviors cause serious problems in relationships and work. Most personality disorders begin in childhood and continue on into adulthood. Personality disorders are treatable with psychological intervention and behavior change work, as long as the person is willing to do the work needed to change their thoughts and behaviors into healthy ones. It is unfortunate that anyone suffers from a personality disorder, but when it comes to you and I dealing with their toxic behaviors, the research indicates that we need to either learn how to protect ourselves or know when to unfollow them in real life. So here are my tips for how to unfollow a toxic person when you can't 100% remove them from your life. Number one, 
set clear and firm limits and make sure that you hold to them. Don't waver or give a little leeway. Hold on to your set clear and firm limits. Maintain a healthy boundary by limiting your time with the toxic person, as well as limiting the amount of energy you give to them. You may choose to listen to what they're saying, but you don't have to engage in their rant. Limit the amount of interaction you have with them, telling them what you're doing and what limits you put in place. And be prepared that they'll likely test your boundaries. Honoring these boundaries is up to you. Number two, don't let their emotions affect yours. Other people's emotions can be contagious. So stay aware of your own emotions when interacting with toxic people. If they are in a negative rant, check to ensure that you too aren't getting into those negative emotions. If you are, you need to politely leave the situation to refresh yourself. And if the toxic person follows you or continues the rant after you've asked them to stop, well, you may need to cut them out of your life for your own emotional health. Number three, focus on solutions. We all have choices. We can either go through life being problem-focused, which is only looking at the problem, or we can be solution-focused, which is a more proactive focus on taking strategic and healthy action. If a toxic person brings you down, take action either by leaving the situation or focusing on the positive qualities of the toxic person. Everyone is positive qualities if we look deep enough. Focus on their positives, and if possible, use their positive skills to your advantage or to the advantage of your job. Number four, monitor your own stress level. If you find yourself feeling stressed, before interacting with a toxic person, realize that you must do all that you can to avoid that person at this time. See, when we are stressed or anxious, our own defenses come down, and this reduces our ability to cope with anyone in a healthy way. When stress levels escalate, take time to yourself to breathe and recenter. Number five. Don't go it alone. I'm sure there are other people who also feel affected by this toxic person. Enlist their help, not in a negative way focused against the toxic person, but rather in a positive way to keep a check on yourself. You may be too close to the situation to always realize when you need to move away from that person. Enlist healthy people in your life to help you stay on top of your emotional health. Coping with toxic people is not easy, but if we understand that they're most likely suffering emotionally or they are coping with a personality disorder, their outward toxic behavior is a result of their suffering. If we realize that, maybe it's possible that we can learn to approach toxic people with a bit of compassion. Your compassion for them, however, should not stand in the way of your own emotional health. In life, as on social media, sometimes we just need to unfollow certain people. I would like to hear from all of you about your experiences and thoughts on this topic and on dealing with toxic people. Please leave me a comment on this site or go to my website to access all of my social media links. I hope you found this episode helpful, and if so, spread the word by sharing with and telling your friends about this podcast. I encourage you to rate this podcast on iTunes or whichever service you are using, as your ratings help to make this podcast more visible to others. Thank you. And I hope you all have a very mindful day.
Thank you for listening to this episode with Chris Shea. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com.